fuck's sake, United. Guys, this is Mr. Josh CJ, and Manchester United have lost 1-0 to Arsenal at Old Trafford. Again, Manchester United's shock in home form continues. We are absolutely dreadful at home at the moment. Today, there is no passion, no spirit, no drive, nothing. You know, Arsenal didn't even have to play well today. We made them just look comfortable on the ball. There's just absolutely nothing from Manchester United. That was shocking, man. For about the whole, from minute one to minute 90, not good enough. Absolutely fucking useless by Manchester United. I tell you, it was an absolute joke and a disgrace and a shambles to that Manchester United football badge this afternoon. It was absolutely dreadful to watch. Bored stiff. I mean... Paul Pogba, all my fucking days, I am fucking done with that idiot. Get him out of our club right now. Costs us big time. Give him away that penalty. I can literally well and truly reach breaking point with Paul Pogba. Fuck him off as soon as possible. He is done. I mean, that penalty gave way to Arsenal, absolutely pathetic. And the ball, kept getting the ball away in the midfield, took too long with his touches in the box. Oh, if I wasn't a breaking point with Paul Pogba before, I am well and truly a breaking point now. Absolutely fucking useless. He apologised after the game, but that's not good enough. I'm sorry, I am done with him. He needs to leave as soon as possible. I mean, how on earth did he stay on the pitch for 90 minutes? Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer, can you explain that one to me, please? I'm not Ollie out, but the performances have got him pretty fast. Not good enough by Manchester United. Paul Pogba, very lucky to stay on the pitch the whole 90 minutes. I mean... Fancy taking off Bruno Fernandes. I would have taken off Paul Pogba. He is fucking useless. Dear me, what on earth was Oddig and Solskjaer thinking about there? The team selection today, Scott McTonney. Fucking dreadful. Yeah, it's just, why on earth did Scott McTonney start? Should have been Matt H who started. I mean, Scott McTonney just... I like him. Nice lads, but very inconsistent. I mean, Harry Maguire today in, in the defence. Arsenal had a free header. And he's just standing still, like, ball watching. No one marking the Arsenal player. So easy could have been 1-0 down in the first half. Arsenal with so many chances. That could have been about 3 or 4 in the first half. Just dreadful by the defence and in general by the whole Manchester United team. I am not impressed at all. Now the press and media are going to be back on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's back. Paul Pogba will be making the headlines for all the wrong reasons. I mean, Mason Greenwood, I definitely didn't think he was at his best today. And I absolutely love Mason Greenwood, but he was shocking today. Rashford is shocking today. I mean, literally the whole Manchester United team, shocking. I think De Gea only had to make one save, that's all. I mean, we never even tested Arsenal. Absolutely clueless, pathetic, bottle jobs. Fucking bottle jobs, I tell you. Absolutely pathetic by Manchester United. As I said, from the whole game, just not good enough. And the substitutions Ole Gunnar Solskjaer made today, very questionable. wan you know me, I love wan but today, even he wasn't at his best, I tell you. Just 
The whole Manchester United team today was shit. It's as simple as that. Fucking dog shit. I mean, the referee, Mike Dean, my goodness me, some of the decisions he made today was absolute shit. I mean, how on earth was Rob Holding still on the pitch? Ball down like Marcus Rashford or Scott McTonney, and he got away with it. Already on the yellow cards, that should have been the second yellow card. But fair play to Arsenal, they're absolutely fantastic. But as for us, absolutely fucking shit. Oh yeah, by the way, got my Newton Heath shirt on underneath my jumper. The reason why I still got my jumper on is because my flat's cold and... It's taking time for the underfloor heating to kick in because I've been away all weekend and my grandparents, well, of course, won't be going there for about another four weeks now because as from Thursday, we're entering lockdown again, but I can still form a support bubble with my parents because I live on my own. I can form a support bubble with at least one household, so that's good news, but the one advantage me being in the flat is on match days and F1 races, I can do them pretty much straight after the games or straight after the race because I have plenty of time to record because I'll be here all on my own in the flat. So that'd be one positive, but obviously I miss my family. But anyway, I'm going a bit off topic, but I'm just so pissed off. Where was the fight? Passion. Spirit and drive. Yeah, see, I'll lift up my jumper, see? I'm wearing the uh, Neaton Heath top. The Umbro. Where's that badge? There. Manchester United Football Club. Today, that performance was an absolute shambles to the badge. Tell ya. I'm well pissed off with that today. Fair play to Arsenal. You were good. And I got a couple of Arsenal fans couple of my subscribers are Arsenal fans, so many congratulations to you. To my, one of my longest serving subscribers, Footloads2505. Congratulations, mate, if you're watching this. Man of Match today. Well, it's bloody difficult who I gave Man of Match, but despite not having a good game, I think the only one who's trying to make things happen was Mason Greenwoods, because... Once, when Arsenal were open, there was an opening. Mason Greenwood was straight in to try and find Marcus Rashford. But he's the only one, I think, who can hold his head up high today, Mason Greenwood. Even though he had a shit game, he, he was still not the worst player out on the pitch. But anyway, let's get on to player ratings. This game was shit, and I'm done talking about it. Right, so David De Gea... I'll give a 6. He didn't have a lot to do, so 6 is generous. And wan 5. Not good enough today. Just was having one of them poor games at Aaron wan -Bissaka. Victor Lindelof for... I mean, him and Harry Maguire today were, at times, too slow to react. Harry Maguire for... As I said, just I like learned it off, too slow to react. Luke Shaw, fine, not good enough. Simple as that. Scott McTonney, one, dreadful. Absolutely fucking dreadful. No creativity, just, oh, it's a poor day in the office, uh, Scott McTonney. Fred, six, thought he had a really decent game, Fred. He's another player who can hold his head up high. Bruno Fernandes, fine. Not a good game for him at all today. Paul Pogba, zero. I mean, kept getting the ball away. Getting away a penalty. Making too many mistakes. Taking too many fucking touches in the box. I am done with that cunt. Excuse my language, but I fucking had enough of him. Hashtag Pogba out. It's time for him to go. I'm sorry. I've had enough. Mason Greenwood. 
again. A six. As I said, he's probably one of our best players out on the pitch, along with Fred, despite not having a very good game. Marcus Rashford today, or dreadful. Hardly involved in the game at all. Didn't have much during this, but still dreadful by Manchester United. And right, manager ratings. Oli going to sell Sharper's team selection today? Well, it's going to have to be 4 out of 10, isn't it? I mean, I was happy in the lineup, but his tactics were just wrong. It's a dreadful day in the office on his 100th game. But I am well and truly not Oli out, though. I stick by Oli, and I like how he tries and defends the players, but it's time to get ruthless. Ruthless with some of these assholes at the club. Player power cannot play a big part. It's time for the manager to get ruthless. Our tata today, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Because I thought he set up his Arsenal team very well. Mike Dean's performance today, the referee, fucking shit. I'm going to give him a 4 out of 10. Dreadful decision making. Rob Holden should have been sent off. Dear me. Anyway, that is the match reaction done to the Manchester United versus Arsenal game. Join me tomorrow for my F1 review of the San Marino Grand Prix. And Tuesday, join me for a preview to the Champions League game against um, something called Istanbul or something in the Champions League. We're playing very well in the Champions League. We're in a really strong position, but we're in November and we're just six points off the relegation zone still in the bottom three. I mean, thank fuck that Burnley, Fulham and West Brom are more shitter than us. Why, if they pick up points and we keep dropping points, we are in massive trouble. we got to start to get moving out that league at table soon. I mean, last season, I know we said we could potentially be in a relegation battle, but that's a bit of an over-exaggeration. But the longer we stay near there, the more precarious it's going to get for us. I mean, just, oh, not good enough. Let me know down below who your man of match is. Comment your thoughts on the team selection. I just thought Ollie got it absolutely wrong today. Right, Comment down below, I always reply. I'm just so pissed off and frustrated with that performance. Fuck's sake, United! That was an absolute shambles to the name Manchester United Football Club. And what a horrific weekend it's been for the club. This is possibly one of the most saddest weekends for a long time. The passing and Nobby Styles. And now Sir Bobby Charlton diagnosed with dementia. It is absolutely devastating. And to top it off, that absolute fucking dog shit performance today. Not good enough. Bye-bye.